Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. I just got back from thrifting and hitting yard sales, so I thought I would share with you what I picked up today. I haven't done a like thrift haul for me, picking up things much lately. I've been mostly sourcing for eBay through thrifting, but every now and then I do pick up something, and eventually I'll share it with you. Because um, sometimes it's just one or two things for me, and sometimes it's nothing. But anyway, I decided to get up this morning and go hit a couple yard sales. There wasn't many around here, but I did hit four of them. And I only got stuff at one. The other three wasn't that great, and it had a lot of kids' clothes and things like that. And it just wasn't really anything I was looking for. Um, so I went and done that. <clears throat> And then when I got done with that, I went to the Goodwill outlet, looked around in there, got a little bit of stuff at the outlet. I'll show you that. And um, then I went and cleaned up the church. So I'm a little tired. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to, when I got all this stuff out, I got a whole cart of stuff here. This is all my eBay stuff I got a list. And um, all the stuff that I have picked me up is sitting over here. Now, there's a few things that I picked up the other day when I went because I've been to the Goodwill several times this week. Um, I did pick up a few things the other day. I'm going to show you that too. But I'll show you what I got today first. Then I'll show you the older stuff. Um, where do I want to start? Okay. I went to several, you know, I went to four different yard sales this morning. Two of them were church yard sales. I didn't get nothing at neither one of the church yard sales. Um, but I stopped by this house and this older lady was having a yard sale by herself. Um, just under her carport and just pulling out stuff as she could and she was really sweet she actually gave me a couple things free but um I picked up a few things from her let me show you this bowl she actually gave me this bowl for free and I was just looking at it because I, I was interested I like that picture on it I thought I said yeah my husband would like that you know because he's, he's been a mechanic all his life and um then I put it back down. I wasn't going to buy it. I was just wanting to look at the picture on it. So when I got ready to leave, she was like, here, take this bowl. I noticed you was looking at it, and you put it back down. She said, so I want you to have that. So she let me have that bowl. So I got it for free, which was so sweet. She was so nice. She was really nice. Um, oh, what else did I buy from her? I bought this. Y'all know I already got one of these. But this one was still new with the little... Um, tag on it where you can test it and um, it does work so now I'll have two or I may give one to my stepson because he really loved this thing when he come over for Christmas he was like oh I just love that and um, of course I wasn't going to give him that one because it was mine but now that I picked up another one I may let him have one of them but um, she gave me, charged me she charged me two dollars for this and um what else oh i bought this here from her and this is actually a party light and i don't know if it's supposed to have a lid but it's a warmer and <clears throat> i just thought it was cute i got some other pieces in my kitchen made just like this with the same color and i thought this would be cute maybe to set in my kitchen somewhere or do i ain't sure where i'll put it yet but it's really cute actually still got some wax in it I've never had a wax warmer before but I thought it was really cute so I bought that it was two dollars and then she's like wait I got some little candles too I can give you so she went in the bag and she got me uh, four little candles or tea lights to go with it and she was she was just so nice I wanted to adopt her <laughs> like can I take you home with me you just too sweet <laughs> Uh, next thing I got from her, I'm, I'm going to show you the box first so you can see how it looks. Because it doesn't come with the lights. But I got this Manor Lane Home Collection. It's a small rustic wood with, with cloak. String lights not included. But that's what it looks like. And I thought it was so cute. I said, it's funny. Seems like every time I see something that I want and I don't get it, I'll go somewhere and I'll find it pretty cheap or something similar to it you know well I was in Michael's I run in there because my husband was doing something next door 
And I run in Michael's just to look around and kill a few minutes while he was doing his thing. And they had a little cloak in there. And it had like a bird's nest with some beautiful flowers in it. And a little bird. And all. It was so cute. But they wanted $25 for that thing. And me and this woman both was looking at it. And I, she was like... I was just thinking I could probably make that a lot cheaper. I said, me too. I said, now I just need to find me one of those cloaks. And then I found this, this one at the yard sale today. This is what it looks like. It's just a little short cloak with this little, it's a real lightweight piece of wood. You can tell it ain't, it ain't heavy at all. But I may try to get me some stuff and make make up something similar to what I've seen at Michael's because it was so pretty and perfect for springtime. Okay guys, if the angle looks different, it's because my battery died and I had to change it out. But anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about. So anyway, I'm going to fix this up. I'm going to fix this up and try to make something pretty out of that. $2. And I also got a bag of, um, a big bag of Lincoln Logs that she had. I'm going to put those on eBay. They're sitting over there. And she gave me a free Aldi bag to put everything in. <laughs> so anyway, I spent six, seven, eight, I spent about nine dollars with her. Plus she gave me all those, you know, little extra free things. Um, so that's all I got from the yard sale. Then I went to the Goodwill Outlet, and I didn't get much in there. I got two boxes that I brought home, because I always pick up boxes or paper or, you know, or bubble wrap or anything like that that I can find in the bins. But I grabbed a couple things here. I picked up this like memory, memory wire bracelet, and I just kind of like the beads. I thought maybe I could, you know, do something with the beads. So I got that. I love those colors. And then I picked up this this um necklace here. And it's actually got a, a cute little pendant on it with a family picture in it. Two family pictures. And it looks like it's made to open, but I can't figure out how to open it. But let me show you. It's cute. Cute little pendant. Look at that. I thought that was so cute. It's somebody's family. And then the other sign has got another picture in it. Isn't that cute? And it's just got these long black beads with some gold beads on it. And then a little tassel hanging off the end. But I mainly wanted the beads, but that is so cute. I wish I could figure out how to open that. See, so yeah, it's got a little thing on the bottom like it opens. See that? I don't know. I would love to keep that and put my own pictures in it. But it might be made that way. I don't know because it looks awfully good. But it's so cute. I love it. If if these wasn't strangers, I'd wear it. But <laughs> I've got to look kind of funny walking around with some family on my chest. I don't know who they are. I just like the necklace. <laughs> but anyway, I picked that up. I'll do something with it. But I just, I like the beads and stuff on it. So I got it. And then I actually found this one. It's got these cute little um, black beads like this on it. And it has this cute little, like, tassel hanging off the end of it. I thought that was cute. It's the other side. So I got that. Add the bins. So that was, you know, really, really cheap getting it at the bins. So I got that. Oh, and I got a shirt, a nice Hawaiian shirt to uh, put on eBay. It looks like brand new. It just ain't got no tags with um, parrots all over. It's really nice. So I got that. So I got the shirt and the jewelry from the bins and two free boxes. That was it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some things that I got when I went to the Goodwill Outlet the other day. And all of this came out of the bins. So I got it super cheap. You know, when you get a bunch of stuff out of the bins, 
you add up how many pieces you got and then multiply it by your I mean divide it by your price then you're getting everything pretty cheap so let me show you what I got this is just one of those cool towels it was actually in a container and I took it out of the container just so I didn't have to pay for extra weight for the container because I'm gonna keep this for myself it's just one of them cool wrap towels that you can like you know put around your neck and something to help keep you cooler in the in the summertime you won't be so hot and sweaty so I grabbed that I got a mug I thought this was so cute it's by Sakura but it's it says Sakura the the Sakura table glamour girls but I thought it was so mean look at that isn't that cute? It's got sale clearance, a woman shopping. I just thought that was so cute. I was like, yes, this is so me. And it's got a cute little saying on the bottom here. It says, lead me not into temptation. I can find the way myself. But it's just a woman shopping. It says buffet, sale clearance. Just all different kind of little sayings. And I thought that was so, so cute. The coffee mug. I'm going to clean it up good. We got that out of the bins. And then I got this cup out of the bins. I thought it was so cute. It says, bless this home. Got little peppermints and candy canes on it. I thought that was so cute. I don't know how the lighting is, y'all. I thought that was so cute. Get it out in front of my face. I hate when I block my face like this all the time. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a cute little cup. I had to have it. It'd be nice at Christmas time. Then I got this. And it looks like it's... I don't... It goes to something because it's got this metal thingy in the bottom. And you might know what this is. If you do, leave it in the comments below because I don't have a clue what this goes to. It's got this black ring on the bottom, a black handle, and it's actually got up to five cups here, a little porn spout. But I thought it was cute, and I was like, I can use this for a, a, a measuring cup, because I, I don't know what it goes to, so I can't sell it as a replacement part, because I don't know what it goes to. But that's what the bottom looks like. But I said, well, it'd be a nice, like, measuring cup. As long as this thing down here don't leak or nothing. I, it don't look like it would. But um, I'm going to use it for, like, a measuring bowl. Because it, it shows up to five cups. But if you know what that is, leave it in the comment. Because I don't have a clue what it is. What it's for, you know. Okay, next thing I got out of the Goodwill bins was this little... Um, pen and pad. It originally come from Marshalls for $2.99. And I just like the pen. I wanted the pen. I don't really care for the pad. But I wanted that cute little golden white pen. So I picked that up. It's still new and sealed. And then I picked up this. This is called a glass, a rub and etch glass designer stencil. And it's baby's first moments. And I thought this would be cute because I have actually got some little, um, I don't know if I ever shared them with you or not. I got them at the bins, I think, a while back. But they're little clear um, Christmas ornaments, like just a round piece of clear glass. So since uh, Chris and Rose is, you know, having a baby, I might could uh, make it a Christmas ornament with this. It's just a little... You know, a little etching kit for babies. And it's just got, it's a boy or it's a girl. Or you could put different little things on it. it kind of shows you down here at the bottom. All the little things that you can put on it. But I was like, oh, I'm going to get that. Because I can use that on, I got two of them actually. Clear glass ornaments. We got two grandbabies coming. That's what they look like. The storks and stuff. That's the kit. But anyway, we got two grandbabies coming. If y'all didn't know, if you didn't see my post 
in Rose and Chris's post on Facebook, they're pregnant. And um, they uh, are having a baby in Oct around October. And uh, I might make it a cute little Christmas ornament with that and we got another grandbaby on the way too but it's due a little earlier in the in the year um let's see these are quacken quacker quacker it's like quacker factory they're just some pink shorts just nothing nothing fancy just a pair of basic pull on pink shorts. So it looks like it says Quacker Factory. <laughs> Never heard of that. So I picked them up for me. I had the bin. And then the last, is this the last? Yeah. The last thing that I got was this little scrapbooking kit. And this came out of the bins also. And I thought it was cute. Scrapbooking kit, chapters of life. And it's just got these beautiful flowers in it and little, these little square things here has actually got um, numbers on them. And then it's got these cute little, like, strips there, like borders. But this is everything in the back. You can see it on the back here. All that is in it. Between this and the stuff that I got for eBay the other day and the amount that I spent, I think everything averaged out to 41 cents a piece. So I get 41 cents for everything you just seen here. So that's everything I got. Um, I've actually been doing quite a bit of thrifting this past week and trying to get more things in my store. So I've been having a lot going on between trying to you know, get things listed and and housework and church work and all that good stuff. It's uh, busy, busy, busy. I hope you enjoyed just kind of sitting down casual like this with me and seeing what I got um, on my little shopping excursions this week. And um, remember, you know, let me know if you know what this, this is. <laughs> And I greatly appreciate it because I'm just curious. I'm curious to what it goes to. But um, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Matter of fact, give me a thumbs up for the new grandbabies that are coming this in, this this year. Um, one's due, I think, in May. And the other one's due, in, as far as she knows, in October. Um, so we've got two new grandbabies coming. So... Give me a thumbs up for that. <laughs> so if you are a subscriber of mine already, I appreciate you so much. If you are not, then don't forget to hit that button and become a part of Thrift Test Step Mom's neighborhood because I call my, I call all of my um, subbies my neighbors. We're like internet neighbors. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And um, I guess I'll see you in my next video. God bless. Bye.